previously on The Turning of Time. Hi. My name's Andrew, and, um... I have a drinking problem. And a evil, manipulative ex-lover problem. <laughs> oh my god. That's right. Your sister, back from the bottom of the Grand Canyon, has returned from the dead. Please take me with you. Now, now. We'll be back in four fortnights. Don't fret for me, sweet dove. Dove? I thought I was Deary. Oh! Am I mixing up sisters again? I'm sorry. Like a clock that turns time, this is... The Turning of Time. Kill me, you better do it quickly. I'm not here to kill you, sister. Then why are you here? I want to kill Janice. Our other sister? Who else, sister? Well, why that sister? Because that is the sister who pushed me into the Grand Canyon. What do you want from me, my deceased evil twin? I'm here to punish you for what you did to me. You... You get out of my head, you monster! Harsh words for your own twin. That deserves punishment. No. No, you wouldn't. What would you prefer? Maple or maple sprinkles? No. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> We'll be together forever, brother. <laughs> oh my god! You're alive! That's no thanks to you. What, disappointed? Where are you? I must come find you. No! I'm just calling to say goodbye and good riddance and I never loved you! Where is this coming from? We told each other that we love each other forever. That was before you gave up on me. Oh, I never gave up on you. I spent days, nights, four nights looking for you. What? So you're saying you never gave up on me? <sighs> of course not. I fell into a dark place of alcohol and sadness. And in that place, I found a rug that I dressed like you and put a wig on. And every night I fell asleep holding that rug, pretending it was you. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. So wait, if, if, if you never stopped looking for me, and my father never stopped looking for me, what was Abigail saying? She's evil! She's trying to get you to leave the country so she can get all your father's money! That bitch! I, I gotta go tell my father! <laughs> it has taken you upwards of 13 years to crawl out of the Grand Canyon and come here for revenge. You should wait. Don't act drastically. Why are you defending her? She's a sister. One who has made mistakes. She's given up her life of crime and murder. What about you, Joyce? Aren't you still power hungry? Don't you want to be the only Nelson sister who gains Marcus's love? And Marcus's jewel mine? How do you know about Marcus? Hmm. 
I learned a lot from the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Andrew! I never thought I'd see you again! <laughs> oh. I never thought I'd see you again! Why do you still have this rug? <laughs> Sorry, force I haven't. Yeah. I figured this would be the perfect chance. I originally bought this ring for rug, Emily, but you're even more wonderful than that rug. Emily Rowland, will you marry me? Yes. Yes, a thousand times yes! <laughs> <laughs> we should go tell my father. <laughs> father? Oh, my dear, sweet father, where are you? Oh, my God. Father! Oh, he's fallen into another coma. Call the police. I'd recognize his jar of poison anywhere. Next time on The Turning of Time. Stop it, Raymond. I'm not going to see the Blue Man Group. We're going on a date tonight. No, you can't do this. It isn't right. I know you put Damien in that coma. You won't get away with this! I didn't put him in a coma. He was supposed to take me to Morocco. Does this mean I'm not going to Morocco? Yep, this definitely seems like a coma. Is he gonna be okay? He will, if he gets lots of bed rest and doesn't operate any heavy machinery. <laughs> No, I'm serious, Emily. If he operates a tractor in this state, he could die. Ah. <laughs>